Then they marched and gathered by hill and valley, going ever by tunnel or under dark, until around and beneath the great mountain Gundabad of the north, where there was their capital, a vast host was assembled, ready to sweep down in time of storm, unawares upon the south. Welcome to Tales of Arda, where we discuss and explore Middle Earth. This video we will cover pretty much every orc stronghold, hideout and fortress. We will just summarize its their history, but if you want an in-depth video about any of these places, please comment below. We start with Atumno, the first of Morgoth's fortresses. It was built during the years of the lamps and Morgoth built it far north in the mountains of iron so that light from the two lamps, Iluin and Olmal, was very dim there. This was the place where orcs were first created and so in its pits thousand lingered until Atumno's destruction in 1099 of the years of the trees in the first war between the Valar and Morgoth. Next is Angband, the Iron Prison, which was built during the years of the trees and before the destruction of Atumno. It was the second fortress of Morgoth and most of the time Sauron was its commander. But after the destruction of Atumno it became the primary stronghold of Morgoth. Here more and more orcs multiplied in the mountains of Fangorodrim. They delved deep and there waited for the time of Morgoth's domain upon Beleriand. After the Dagobragolak and the near knife Arnoidiad, the orcs roamed for the most part freely in Beleriand and so we don't have exact places where they might have abode. As for the fortress of Angband, it was obliterated in the War of Wrath, and any of its foul remains was covered up by the waves when Beleriand was sunk. Now we move on to the Second Age, in which Sauron created the One Ring, and, the lang and in the land of Mordor he breeds the orcs once again, so like his m master. Sauron created an orc army pretty, that pretty much only lived in Mordor, and the other lands that Sauron occupied, like the lands of the east and parts of the Misty Mountains. And then, in the Third Age, after his return, Sauron once again settles in Mordor, and its black lands are once again filled with orcs. When Sauron is destroyed at the end of the Third Age, it is thought that no orcs or foul creatures dwelt in Sauron's old land, as the orcs likely ceased to exist in the Fourth Age. But as for the Third Age, many orcs dwelt in places other than Mordor. Now we move on to Angmar, the realm of the Witch King. And in his conquest of Arnor, he built up a great army of which the majority were orcs. Angmar was found in 1300 of the Third Age and fell in 1975. Its capital and main fortress was Khan Doom. When the Witch King invaded most of the north, and allied itself with Rudar, one of the kingdoms of Arnor, that was corrupt. The orcs then swept through the north and stayed there for many years. Although Angmar was destroyed by the combined forces of elves and men, many orcs still lived in the north of Eriador, hunted or were hunted by the remaining Duodine. Next on this list of hideouts of orcs is not that far from Angmar. It is Mount Gundabad, 
This is actually a very sacred place for the dwarves, as it is said that Durin the first awoke there, and so when dwarves allied themselves against Sauron, he sent a battalion of orcs to sack Gundabad in revenge. And so for the next thousands of years, it was occupied by orcs, and even when Angbar was desolated, the orcs still lingered in Gundabad. But as the war of the dwarves and orcs raged on, the dwarves seeked vengeance, and so the second sacking of Gundabad occurred. But not long after the sacking, orcs returned to their old fortress. Until the end of the Third Age, many orcs still lived there. Next we have the Misty Mountains. In 2480 of the Third Age, orcs began establishing hideouts in the mountains. They mostly lingered in the High Pass, and that was where Goblin Town was. But unlike the Peter Jackson movies, goblins are the same things as orcs. And that makes Goblin Town an orc hideout. Another fortune, fortress of Sauron was Dol Guldur in the south of Mirkwood, the hill of sorcery in Sindarin. This was actually the capital of the earlier elves that lived in Greenwood the Great. But no long into the Third Age, a darkness began to engulf the great forest from the south, and so the elves moved further north. Amon Lank, as it was known before it was taken over by the necromancer, who was Sauron. In around 1000 of the Third Age, a shadow swept over Greenwood the Great, and so that it became known as Mirkwood. There Sauron built an army, but was temporarily driven out by Gandalf on his first visit to Dolgordu. And then, during the events of the Hobbit, the White Council, which consisted of primarily Saruman, Gandalf, Galadriel, Elrond, and some others, drove Sauron off. And Sauron fled to Mordor. But orcs still remained there, and in the War of the Ring, many times the orcs of Dol Guldur attacked Lothlorien, though all times they were repelled with little casualties on the elven side. And soon after the destruction of the ring, Celeborn of the Trees led his elves across the Anduin, and they took Dol Guldur. And Galadriel used her magic to cast down its walls and lay bare its pits, much as Lúthien did of old to Tol Engauroth. Finally, we have Isengard, and only in the third age did any orc abide there as this was actually an impenetrable fortress of Numenorean making. But in the Third Age, the Stuart of Gondor and the King of Rohan gave the keys of Isengard to Saruman the White, hoping that Saruman would be a good ally. Unfortunately, this would be their undoing, as when Saruman became corrupt, breed uruk in Isengard a strong subspecies of the orc that was superior than the uh, average orcs. As the War of the Ring started, Saruman increased his hunt for the Ring of Power. He sent loads of uruk to capture the Ring Bearer, but these were all defeated at some point. But the then he sent tens of thousands Urukai in his attempt to end the Rohirrim. And they fought at the Battle of Hem's Deep, and when all hope seemed gone, Erkenbrand and Gandalf saved the Rohirrim. Nearly at the exact same time, the Ents of Fangorn Forest stormed the Tower and Ring of Isengard, and it was left defenceless. 
when the Urukai armies were defeated and the old Numenorean fortress was returned to the men of the West. All Urukai ceased to exist. Thank you for watching. If you think we missed any fortress, please comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.